Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here with a wig review. I am collaborating with the wig company to bring you their uh, statement style essence in the color F3327. So this is Essence, it's in their Statements line, and Essence is a heat-friendly wig with a lace front and a mono part. You can see that she's awfully cute. So if you wanna know more about this style, then stick around for the rest of this video and I'm gonna tell you all about her. Essence is a super, super cute, shaggy, uh, not shaggy, more layered, polished, tapered cut. This is a very professional style that I think would work well for many, many people. It's got some beautiful layers. Uh, the overall length is just below chin length. I'm about eight inches from my hairline to chin. Just super, super cute. So I'm gonna talk about this color here just shortly, but let's just take a look at this piece from all sides. When I do that, I never know if I mess up the fibers and get them out of place but I think it's helpful for me to play with it so that you can see the density that this one has, which is not heavy density at all. So I'm gonna show you this color first and then we'll talk about the piece. So this color, F3327. It's described as, uh, let me grab the description actually so that I can read it to you and, and get it really accurate. So it's described as deep gold strands with auburn brown. And you can see some of these deep gold all throughout, almost a strawberry blonde in some areas. This one is really light. So uh, it's definitely visibly highlighted. And because you can see some of this, I would say that the piece I have is not overly stripey, but I think it has the potential, depending on the piece that you get, to be kind of a stripey highlighted color. So if you don't like stripey colors, I probably would stay away from this one, even though I wouldn't say this one is extreme. I've seen much more stripey colors from the wig company before. Um, I can't guarantee that another piece wouldn't be more stripey than this. That's one of the variations you get with wigs. But it's just gorgeous. It's really a light, auburn with blonde highlights. It's not um, overly red, but it's definitely pulls red. It's not super dark. So if you, you know, get, um, get kind of overwhelmed by highlights or you're used to darker brunettes and you struggle to go into the lighter brunettes, this one's going to feel kind of light to you, I think, in the beginning. It is not a rooted color, so you don't have, you do have some darker brunette in here, but not really, and it's definitely not um, rooted, so that won't give it an overall darker cast. If you have trouble blending, this wig gives me unbelievable coverage, like so good. But if you have trouble blending, if you've got darker bio hair, mine's so sparse you can barely tell and it's graying, but um, you're going to have trouble blending on the sides without a rooting. So I hope that helped you if you're struggling, but this one gives me really good coverage. I'll get outside so you can see this color outside as well, so go down to the description for the timestamp straight to that if you don't want to know anything more about this wig. But I'm going to talk about this wig now. So. The wig company did send this one to me, and we have collaborated on reviews in the past, and I really love working with them, and so they usually give me an opportunity to kind of pick a few that I'd like to try, and then they make the ultimate selection, and I am so thrilled about this one. One of the reasons why I wanted to pick it is because it is heat friendly, and I really wanted to be able to showcase, because I am doing a bit of a series on heat friendly wigs coming up here, I really wanted to showcase a heat friendly piece because I think there's some real benefits to heat friendly shorter wigs that I want to talk with you about. The first benefit is these fibers are awesome. I 
really love the way the fibers feel. They're soft and silky. They feel really, really realistic. And I just love that about uh, overall about heat friendly fibers. The other thing I really like about it is it gives you a little bit more flexibility if you want to, you know, take a little bit of heat to it to get a little bit more volume, if you want to add a little bit of curl. I wasn't sure how long this one would be on me. I think it'd be hard to add too much curl because it's not terribly long, but I think you could add a little bit of curl to get a different look. And let me tell you guys, if you're struggling, if you're in the wig closet, let me talk to my wig closeted sisters right now. If you're in the wig closet and you don't want people to know that you're wearing a wig, a heat friendly style could be really helpful because you can curl, you can get two, you can curl one and you can leave the other one straight. It's, it's, it's a more sure way of, of disguising the fact that you're wearing a wig than if you try to find two wigs, different wigs, one curly, one straight, in a color that works. So keep that in mind. You can curl these. And so if you'd like to have a wig that you can have different styles, I wouldn't necessarily recommend owning only one and then sometimes curling it and sometimes straightening it. Number one, I think that would be a lot of work. Number two, you're never going to be able to get the curls or the straightness to look the same from time to time. You're just not going to be able to do it. And so you're constantly going to be changing up that style. And if you love the way this one looks straight, if you take heat to it to curl it, you're never going to get it quite the same again. So I would recommend if you can afford it to get more than one. So I really want to give you that plug about heat friendly. I know a lot of people are afraid of heat friendly. I personally don't love longer heat friendly wigs. A wig this length though, I'll wear heat friendly all day long. I just love this length. I think it's perfect for a heat friendly wig and they really do feel amazing. And if it starts to show wear, all you have to do is take heat to it and you'll get renewed life out of it. So I think there's value in that, especially with this length. Let's talk about permatease. This wig has a little bit of permatease, kind of right up in here, right where you would want it in a wig of this length because you want a little bit of lift at the crown to, to give the style some shape and some body. If this were your bio hair, you would very likely be taking a round brush to the back of the hair when you're drying it to give yourself some volume and lift back here. That's exactly what the permatease on this one does. And it's not heavy handed. It's not super poofy or pillowy. It's very, very appropriate and flattering. There is really not any permatease up here. Um, I don't feel any permatease at the sides, in the way back. It's really appropriate for this area and it's really not super heavy. So I encourage you, if you don't tend to like permatease, unless you truly want your wig to be like this, super flat on your whole head, I would not be afraid of this one. I wouldn't uh, shy away from this one because it has a little bit of permatease. Now, it does have a lace front, and I actually think the wig company lace fronts are really, really good. They do a good, good job. As I'm looking in my monitor, I can kind of see that lace there. And my skin is a little bit darker from still having a little bit of a tan, and I do use bronzer on my makeup. So if that were you and you would feel like you could see that lace, I would just take a pinking shears and I would trim it. I have done that with a lot of my wigs, and it works great, and I do have a video showing that. It does have a mono part, but I'll tell you guys, this part is very, very densely knotted. You really can't see it, not on this piece. That's another thing that could have variation from piece to piece. So you might get a piece where you can see that part a little bit better. In this case, I would just pluck it a little bit so I could see that part. It will help this to lay a little bit nicer and then you get the benefit of that mono part. I have a Tip Tuesday where I show you how to do that and I really recommend it. So give that a try. I'm sure you will find it a game changer for some of your wigs. Like I mentioned a minute ago, the coverage on this is really good. So here's my bio hair and I'm in desperate need of a buzz. Um, but when I have the wig situated where it's supposed to be, look at that, you can't really see it. That is some amazing coverage. I do not get coverage like that all the time. So it's really, really good coverage. But even with that great coverage, you can tuck. 
So the ear tabs fall just in front of my ears and down a little ways. So that's the perfect spot for ear tabs on me because it gives me good coverage, but it still gives me good clearance. So if you are a wig tucker, look at that. And like when you, I have a mirror over here, so I'm just going to look real quick. When you tuck and then you sort of fluff up, it really does change the profile of the wig and change the look. So that is really awesome. Let me show you this cap. It's pretty lightweight. It feels super comfortable and it fits me really well. Let's, I'll talk about fit as soon as I put it back on, but there you go. There's your uh, lace front and look at that ear tab to ear tab. You've got good real estate with this lace front. You've got a mono part and soft, bendable ear tabs, extended nape, Velcro adjusters. Can I just take a minute and praise the wig company for this cap? They have, their statements line is comparable to Raquel Welch, Gabor, other much more expensive wig lines. Their statements line is very comparable to that. This is a great cap and the price right now, today as I'm filming this, it's on sale for $119. I can't guarantee that's the price you'll see when you, depending on when you watch this video, but it's not going to be $200. It shouldn't be. It's Their prices are so good for these wigs and they're really good quality. If you have not checked out the wig company, you guys, you really, really should. And I'm not just saying that because they sent me this wig for free. I am a wig wearer and I am a wig wearer on a budget. I love the price point that they offer with these wigs and I really don't think you're compromising anything when you um, when you get them especially from the statements line which of all of their house brands that's my favorite because it's the one that has the great cap features like the lace front and the mono part and um, just more in line with the styles that I like to wear alright so let's talk about fit this cap fits me perfectly like really 100% perfectly I don't have any extra cap on the top so I get no um, kind of cone head or you know sometimes when wigs are big and you get a lot of space up here it leaves an odd shape on your head I don't get that at all the ear tabs fall exactly where I want them very comfortable um, let me just make sure it's I think it was cinched in just the tiniest bit I have it cinched in, so there is room to expand. I am a 22 inch circumference. I think you can wear this if you're 22 and a quarter, even 22 and a half. There's pretty good stretch there. Um, I would say look at my measurements, which are always in the description, and you uh, compare them to yours. Let me just get this situated now that I've off and on, off and on. Uh, compare them to yours and know that if you're just a little bit bigger than me, I think this is still going to be okay for you. Average large, you might struggle because it really does fit me super well. And I'm pretty petite over the top of my head, even though I have an average circumference. Uh, average petite, I think you can wear this one. I do get that question a lot um, from all, you know, large head, small head, everything in between. And all I can ever tell you is go to my, see my measurements. And then I try to tell you if I think a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller will work. A challenge with that, we all have different shaped heads. So what fits me might fit you differently because your head isn't shaped the same way. It's not just measurement, it's shape. And it's also a preference. I don't like wigs snug on me because I'm not used to that. I'm used to wigs being a little bit big on me. So that's what I've gotten used to. When I get a wig that's snug on me, I am i don't really like it. Someone else, maybe if you have a little bit of bigger measurements, you've gotten used to wigs being snug on you. And so that's where your comfort level is. So again, I, I need to say these things because I think it's not intuitive. And when we're trying to get advice from people, we have to understand why it's hard, really hard to give accurate advice. We can only tell you what we can tell you. So anyway, enough of that. This wig is adorable. If you can wear a shorter layered style, uh, this ba it has bangs that uh, are actually the perfect length for me. I really wouldn't have to trim these a whole lot, which is rare. Usually bangs are too long for me. So you can wear this full on bang if you want to, or like I prefer, um, to sweep them to the side because of this lace front you can do whatever you want with these bangs you can even clip them up a little bit there's not much bang here to clip but if you wanted to do a, a, a clip it up you sure could do that 
So I almost, I, I would say that because of the length of this wig, I almost think this lace front is a waste. Just saying. I love a lace front. I got to tell you guys, I really do. But you're not going to see much of it because of the length of this wig. So it's not necessarily necessary to have it. But it is great because it does give you flexibility. All right, you guys. I'm going to get outside so that you can see this color outside. What do you guys think of this wig? I really think it's cute. I think you're going to be able to, you know, if you want to put a few clips in it, I, I didn't bring a bunch of styling stuff down um, today, but if you wanted to put some clips in it, I mean, you sure could to get just a little bit of a different look. Claw clips are always great to have on hand. You can put a little headband on. I've shown you guys in multiple videos my favorite headbands that kind of look like a bandana, but they're a, a form-fitting headband. That would look really adorable with this, so I do think you could change up the look just a little bit. All right, let's get outside. I know some of you want to see this color outside, and I do have an out-of-the-box. This is pretty much what it looked like out-of-the-box. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't spray it with water. I didn't leave it out. I mean, I just took it out of the box this morning, and I just fluffed it with my fingers. I shook it out, did some fluffing. That's really all I've done, so really great shake and go right out of the box. I'll make sure all of the links that you need are in the description below. And thank you for being here. I'm so appreciative of those of you who are around and supporting. Please let me know if you need anything from me, if there's any video that would be helpful to you so I can add it to my future video list. I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, this is unexpected, but I have been playing with this wig and since I filmed my review, and I gotta tell you guys, I really recommend her. I cannot tell you how cute this one is. So I showed you the first tuck where I did a full tuck. What I didn't show you is a partial tuck. Just, I don't know you guys, I don't know what it is about this style that has me sort of head over heels, but it really does. If you like shorter styles, you like sort of this layered look, so very, very cute. Let's throw a headband in. I've just been playing with her. This would typically be a piece that I would probably sell because I have so many wigs and I don't wear kind of short pieces like this, especially now that I'm not working in an office out of the house. But the more I play with this, the more I see the possibilities. Just sort of unlimited styling potential that this wig has. Now, I am going to use a little of this Tressler wig wax, which I have not reviewed yet. I need to review it. But I have been playing with it a lot because I want to make sure I'm very comfortable with this product. And can give you all the ins and outs because money is hard to come by these days. Um, we're struggling. I don't know about you guys, but gas, <laughs> groceries, very, very expensive. Look at that. I mean, seriously, you've got so much for a short wig. You have so much styling potential, really just amazing styling potential. So just a little bonus because I've been playing with her and I'm thinking to myself, gosh, I really don't think I did this wig justice in my review. So I've been looking over in my actual phone at what I'm doing. So that's why I'm looking away so much. Okay. I hope this gave you a good sense of this wig. Really cute, really, really cute. All right, we are outside with this beautiful color. I'm in the shade right now. I'll move to the sun and then I'll move back to the shade. You can see, I really like it when wigs have like these little visible highlights. I don't like super stripey colors, but I do like visible highlights. I just, I don't know, there's something about that that I like better than blended. I didn't start that way though. Man, I did not start that way. So if you're still in a place where you can't do wigs like this, you just want really blended basic colors, I hear ya, I was there, I get it. But this is beautiful. I'll make sure I linger. I can't, when the sun is this bright in my eyes, I can't see my screen at all. So I'm trusting that I'm in the frame. 
and I won't move a whole lot so you have a chance to really study. Again, no rooting. All right, let me move back into some shade. So many different uh, lighting scenarios impact how wigs look. It can be really challenging. And I will tell you guys, my experience is synthetic wigs really reflect the light differently. So depending on what light you're in, they, it, the color can look completely different. One good thing about heat-friendly fibers, they're not as shiny as regular synthetic. So I would not worry about this being a shiny color at all. Just beautiful. I really like this color. You do have to um, kind of like the reds, the, the auburn. It's really pretty though. All right, guys, there you go. Hope that helped. All right, here we are out of the box. So I have Essence in F3327. Just taking it out of the box. All I've done so far is taking the tag off. So I never leave that on, just gets in the way. But I haven't done anything else. Actually, I haven't even tried this one on. I just realized I normally look at it at least once before I do this. But I haven't even tried it on. Oh, man. This is a cute style. Oh, my goodness. I like this style. I actually realized I haven't done it out of the box in a really long time, it feels like. Because I've had a couple of wigs that uh, weren't brand new to me. So this is so cute. I am so thrilled with how great this one looks out of the box. This is one of those examples where you get a wig and it needs very little messing and it's really easy to tell whether or not it's going to work for you. Some it's so hard because there's so much box hair and um, other challenges going on, but this one you'll know right away if it's for you or not. I mean, there's a little flatness over here and you know, it needs to be shaken out and everything, but not much. Let's just shake her out. Cause you always want to shake out a wig. Once you decide if you're going to keep it, not before, once you decide you're not returning it, then shake it out. Really very little permatease in this one, a little bit, but very, very little. Honestly, I think it's low enough that even my Permatease hating wig sisters could deal with this amount. The fibers feel amazing. I think this one is heat friendly. I can't quite remember. It doesn't say on here. I am pretty sure this one's heat friendly. You'll know because you've watched the rest of the video. I just can't remember. But I think I um, picked this one because it's heat friendly and I'm doing a whole heat friendly series. And so I was thinking, you know, I could have another one for that series if it was a wig and a style that worked for me. So cute, you guys. So you shake it out, you know, you may need to spray down a wig with water, you may need to hang it upside down. Yeah, there's a little permatees up here for a little while, you know, just to wake the fibers up. If there were curls or waves, I would definitely spray it down and scrunch it, but this is a straight style. This is really shake and go out of the box, you guys. All right, awesome. I cannot wait to review this one for you. So there was the out of the box for you. Thank you.